hi and welcome in this video you will learn about locking resources in sql server in our previous video we have already seen what is locking in sql server and its mechanism and why locking is needed in sql server if you have missed watching that video i will leave a link in the description you can watch it from there okay now the question is where are locks placed in the database or where locks are actually present in the database as we all know multiple users need to access the database concurrently so locks come into the picture to prevent data from being corrupted or invalidated when multiple users try to do operations such as read write or update on database so on which resources sql server puts a lock or it do not lock these are the few resources where sql server puts a lock in general it can place a lock on a single row or if you have a clustered index or indexes it will put a lock on index or it can put a lock on a table complete table it can also put a lock on the page and it can also put a lock on extent which is a combination of eight pages and it can also lock the entire database if you are using some update statement and you have used where clause for one particular row then only that particular row will be locked and you can see key lock when you have a index on your table or in particular column and it can also put a lock on the complete table which can include all your data and indexes and page is your 8kb page and locks can also be placed at page level generally you see these page level locks when you have uh, intent locks on a resource extent is your a group of 8kb pages that can also include index pages and sometimes it can also lock entire database which is at the higher hierarchy level whereas row is at lower hierarchy level sql server can also lock the following resources allocation unit application database extent file heap or bt structure key metadata object yb page row id row group you can pause the video to read the description for each item so where do we check these locking resources in sql server you can check all the resource type and the lock modes in dmv sys dot dm underscore tran underscore locks you can see here the resource type the lock is placed on the object level database level and at key level heap table and allocation unit metadata page level row id key object metadata and key so here you can check the resource type along with the lock locking modes to get this resource lock here i have performed few operations like updating a table creating an index and removing a clustered index and selecting records from a table altering the table so these operations i have performed okay the logs will be released once the transaction is committed or rolled back let me roll back this transaction now you can see there are no logs there are no active logs here in this video we have not discussed about the locking modes that we will be discussing in our next video the locking modes along with the demo i will be explaining in our next video thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe for more videos